What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo here on Ghost Robo Jr. And today I've got a super awesome Nintendo fun pack of fantastic stuff to open up with you. Starting off with a bunch of the new Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. I'm so excited to open these. They've been itching to be opened up. They're like, I'm scratchy, I'm scratchy, help me, help me. And I'm like, I can't, I gotta wait till I can put it on camera because I know it would be fun for you guys too. And it brings me back because I used to collect like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Dragon Ball Z cards, Magic the Gathering cards, um, sports cards. And I haven't had that excitement in a long time. And now these are randomized packs with all sorts of fun characters and you can use them in the Happy Home Designer. So that should be super cool. So I've got six packs of that, which is a lot of packs. And then I got one of the new and new 3DSs. This is the smaller new 3DS, not the XL, but the one that can put face plates on. It comes with two Animal Crossing face plates and I've been super excited for face plates. A long time ago, I got a Japanese new 3DS so I could put face plates on because I think it's just, it's awesome to be able to customize your system like that. Imagine if you could do that with a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or a Wii U where you could like put a whole different set of plastic on it and that's basically what you can do here. So I've been waiting for this one to come to America and they said it wasn't going to and now it is. So we've got faceplate action on our 3DS and I imported um, a lovely Pikachu, Pikachu faceplate to put on this system because I like Animal Crossing. I think these are actually pretty cool but you can't, you can't deny cuteness overload that is uh, this Pikachu. So I don't even know what we should start with. I feel like we should start with the, we'll go system cards faceplate. How does that sound? That seems to be the order. Um, this is a really cool box. I like how happy it is and it should be for Happy Home Designer. Um, I'm not gonna bother with all of like the simple original like 3DS stuff like the manuals and all that. Um, I am gonna show you the faceplates though. So this is the extra faceplate that comes with it. And I think it's cooler than the Isabelle one that you get. Um, so they're calling them cover plates, I guess, here. Uh, Nintendo calls them that. Um, that one's really cool. It's got like the Happy Home Designer kind of house, and then all the little Animal Crossing characters, which the new Animal Crossing Amiibos uh, for the Animal Crossing Festival game for Wii U that comes out in November, those look super cool and cute. Like, all of the different series kind of have their own style. Like the Super Mario uh, Bros. one have a style. Smash Bros. ones have a style. Um, like, obviously, the Shovel Knight one, if you've seen that, or the Chibi Robo, um, or... Uh, like the 30th anniversary Mario, they look a little bit different. And then these new Animal Crossing ones have a little bit slightly different style that fits their art style and their game. So I think those are super cool. Um, so that's the first cover plate. And then the second one is probably already on the system, um, which is nice. Oh no, it's not, okay. So there you can see is Isabelle's very joyous face. She's super happy to join our Ghost Robo Jr. family here. And then where's the bottom? Is that a bottom? Maybe the bottom's already on, and then they want you to put the top on yourself to learn how to do it or something like that. Yeah, the bottom's already on. Okay, cool. So this is the new, the new, new 3DS, and it looks basically just like its Japanese counterpart. You can see it's got like the colored buttons, the white interior, the little nub, uh, and then on the back here, it's got this green grass picnic blanket feel that kind of reminds me of Steve's shirt from Blue's Clues. Um, the stylus is white, it's not checkered, uh, and then the front has nothing on it. And so I guess we'll put the Isabelle faceplate on first, um, just to show you. Now the front faceplate can just slip on, but the bottom faceplate needs to be screwed off. So I'm not sure if we'll mess with that in this video or not. I couldn't find a screwdriver this size. They're really small screws, you can see those. They're super mega tiny. And I'm not much of a handyman, so I don't have that here. But the front cover plate um, can just snap right on. So um, you can mix and match these, obviously. So you just slide, oh, it slides down this way, I forgot, okay. So you gotta slide the little, those in, and then ta-da, it's on. And then look, now we've got Isabel on our new 3DS, and it looks super stylish when you open it up, and so when people are like, hey, what are you playing, what are you playing, they get to see this happy dog face uh, and be really excited. So um, I think this should pop off pretty easy. So yeah, we'll get to that in a second open up this Pikachu one. But first, let's do some of the Animal Crossing cards. Um, I don't know, I think there's six Amiibo cards per pack. This is Series 1, which tells me there's gonna be multiple series. And you can put them into the Wii U game, uh, or on a new 3DS, you don't need an adapter. And then if you have an older 3DS, or an XL, um, you need like the little circular, it's a white NFC reader. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure if you have one of those or not, but they are 20 bucks. Oh cool, they come in little packages, so there's cardboard. I guess kids steal too many cards, because now like all Pokemon cards and stuff come in these cardboard sleeves, but there still is like a cool uh, wrapper on the inside with all the Animal Crossing characters. That will focus for us. It doesn't want, there we go. Look at that, awesome. These cards are really cool, I've seen some of them, and they're really excited, so let's see who we get. And then I'm gonna try and record, it's hard to record 3DS, but I'm gonna try and record some Happy Home Designer, because I think they'll be fun. Oh, look at that. 
I'm not even, the cards are thick. They're a really nice material and then the back, aww. So there's 19 cards I think in this set. But look at the back, like the Amiibo has like a shiny glow around it, like a little silver strip and the back is really nice. Um, they're very well made. This is Pascal. Oh my gosh, there's like holographic and you can see it in the camera. I didn't even, I couldn't even tell. So it's holographic Pascal. Very cool. All right, I probably was supposed to look at the front ones first. So, oh, does that mean there's 17 different Pascals? I thought there's only, or 19 different, I thought there's 19 Pascals. Maybe that means 19 either holographics or 19 Pascals. You can see it says number 19 on the bottom, good focus. Seven out of 19. Because then this one, Roald, is one of five, I'm so confused, because on the bottom it says Roald, and then it says Bobby, and then Reynald. So maybe they're like, there's one of five penguins? Yeah, I bet that's what it is. One of five, like, no, because then Diana says one of four. What is going on? This numbering system is driving me crazy. I'm really good at math too, so what's happening? Diana's cute. Um, okay, there's like different symbols. Because look, you can see like, on the side there, there's like five on the dice, and then there's an open hand, and there's like a little deer. And then for like him, there's a little penguin face, and then there's a one on the dice and an open hand, but then for Biff here, Biff 3 out of 29 has a closed fist, um, if it'll focus, and then he's got a hippo head, and then he's got three dice. Interesting, the cards are really well made though. They're cool, the pictures are really vibrant. We've got Midge. Okay, I don't know how the numbering works, but so far so good, Midge. Another penguin creature. And there's clearly a lot, because the highest number I have is 89. Or 98, actually, was Roald. And here's Quilson. I don't even know what kind of animal this is. A duck, I'm guessing? All right, interesting. So there's six cards per pack. It looks like one holographic. So that's pack number one. Let's open up another pack here. We'll tear into the cardboard. Get out our little lovely pack and open it up, lickety splat. I'm gonna save the holographic one for last this time. And hopefully we can try and understand this numbering system. So I've got Peanut. Adorable, it's a little squirrel girl. Focus in, please, Mrs. Not Pearl. All right, and then, aw, Eunice, or Eunice, who's a little ram sheep guy, girl. I don't know what all the different symbols mean. Bangle, who is he a Bangle tiger, or is he a cat? A dog? A dog cat, I think he's a dog. Got that puffy nose. Um, Knox, who is a, very feisty warrior hen, rooster creature. And then we've got Portia, who is a little puppy dog. And then our holographic is Cap'n, who is, I believe there's an amiibo of him. And it's a holographic Cap'n duck here. And you can see it's not Captain, it's Cap'n if it would focus, come on. Show us the ducky, show us the ducky. Holographic meatloaf again. That's a SpongeBob reference. Um, okay, so let's go into a third pack and see. 12 cards, 12 unique characters, which is great. Let's hope we can keep that streak alive. Can we, can we, can we? That's the question of the day for Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer cards. Um, and these all give you unlockables in the game. And I'm not sure if they're gonna work in any Wii U games, but they show them being scanned into Wii U, so maybe for um, the Wii U Animal Crossing game this fall, maybe they'll work there. Goose, who is definitely not a goose. It's another rooster chicken creature. All right, yes, you can basically see. I'm not sure why sometimes it focuses fast. I think it's because the background is all colorful just like these, so it's having a hard time distinguishing. There you go. They look so nice when it focuses though. Cherry. Doing good, rocking and rolling guys and girls on the unique cards. So far we're at 14. I think if I show it closer you can see it better. All right, Phil, who's like a peacock. I like it. I don't know why they have different names on the sides there, what that's about. Like, see how on the side there it says uh, Phil, Phil, Amalio? I don't know. And then we've got a Bon Bon, who's a bunny. A cute little bunny. And then we've got Fauna, who is a deer. A doe, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. No, 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 I owe myself. Rossetti is here, and he's got an SP, which I guess means special? Maybe? Holographic Rossetti, this is the guy that comes and tells you to save your game. He's very annoying. And he's being very annoying and not focusing. There you go, holographic. That's probably my favorite card yet though. <laughs> that one's so cool. Okay, we're gonna do one more pack and then we'll dip into the um, the the other cover plate because I think that'll be fun. Okay, so this one, I hope I get the old man turtle that's on the front, or Isabel. So far we've got 18 different cards, that's pretty good. There's a lot of variety, clearly, which is awesome. It would suck if you got like 
three of the same one in every pack. And you're like, oh, I'm hunting for that one extra card. Chief, another new one. Chief is a very feisty fox. Gruff is a very multicolored deer here, rocking the forest green face. Midge, who's a cute little penguin. I think we've had Midge, so that's our first duplicate. And Quilson is another duplicate. Uh-oh, two duplicates, but two out of 24 duplicates isn't so bad. Lopez, like an antelope. And then Cap'n again, another holographic Cap'n. So we've had three duplicates out of 24, which isn't so bad considering what I expected to be. But this is like a really nice set of cards. They're thick, they look so cool. And then because of all the vibrant colors, it's almost like a fun, like, I wish there was some card game you could play of this. Like it reminds me of a card game I had when I was little, like bright colors, so much vibrancy, so much fun. It's like a pinata of animal excitement dropping into our fingertips. Okay, so that's those packs. Um, I've got two more. We'll save those for the end of the video. Um, so here's the other cover plate. I'm gonna open this up. And we'll at least get the, the front on. I don't know if I'll get the back on, but I'll do that later and probably like post a picture to Instagram or something. Which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. There's a link in the description of that. Um, but let's see. It smells a little weird. I don't know, Pikachu, how long you been in here? That's so cool though. I love that faceplate so much. Check that out. Isn't that adorable? And cool, like it's both. Um, okay, so now we gotta see if we can pop off. I think you just, yeah, there's a little notch at the edge here. You can just like get your finger in and it easily just slides right off. So I've got that one. And then I can put the Pikachu one right on. And then, ta-da! Look at that! Now my Happy Home Designer console is pikachu out. And I have the Pikachu 3DS XL. Hold on, let me go get it for you. I'm gonna run over here. Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So you can decide which one you think is cooler or better. Um, this is the uh, limited edition Pikachu 3DS XL, which is great because it's a full all over print and it's white on the inside. It was, you know, back then it wasn't like all the new 3DSs were white and it's got Pikachu's tail on the back. Um, and this is actually like a pretty limited edition console and I love it so much. And it has the giant screens bigger than the new 3DS XL, the biggest screens they've ever got, which I like for playing games. Um, but having that second stick does help. And this 3DS, this new 3DS is an in interim size, so it's in between the regular 3DS and the 3DS XL. It fits perfectly, it's just kind of like a nice medium size. Um, but that's that Pikachu one, and here's that Pikachu. You can vote in the comments below, do you like the original 3DS XL Pikachu, or do you like the new 3DS Pikachu? And I kind of want to put the other faceplate on. Um, the back is here, and there's some instructions on how to like get the screws off, and I could do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. Now, don't try this at home. I don't have a screwdriver, so I have a knife. And this is very dangerous, so don't do this. I'm telling you, don't do it. Ask your mom or dad, or go get a screwdriver, or call the screwdriver man from the sky. Luckily, this knife works just exactly what I need, but it's dangerous, so don't do it. I don't want you jabbing yourself, and then you won't be able to play with your 3DS if you have one of these. Um, but I, I have to get this off, and I don't have a screwdriver that can do it. And I could go get one, I guess, but I was like, I need to see Pikachu on here in his full form. Because we can't have Pikachu's head, but not his butt, even though there's a bunch of Pikachus on there. We can't have all the Pikachu heads and not the butts. That sounds silly, but you know what I mean. For Isabelle, it makes more sense, because like, or Peach, actually. Princess Peach, I don't know where the bottom cover plate for Princess Peach is, but her face is on the top one, and then it's uh, like her body on the bottom one. Did I unscrew this enough? Yes, I did. Sweet, so that pops off. And these screws are really tiny, so you gotta be careful that you don't lose them, because they're really, really small. Um, but then I've got this other faceplate here, and we're just gonna slide it right on. And you slide the front in and then line up the screws. I'm just gonna tighten them for a minute here. Thanks for being patient with me. Um, remember, new 3DSs do not come with adapters, so you need your own charger in order to charge the system up. So once it uses itself once, you're out of luck. So either use one that you have from a different 3DS, or you're gonna have to go get one from like Target or Walmart. But now, check that out. All decked out in Pikachu Prime, looking divine. I love it. It's mine. And this is probably gonna be the main 3DS I use. The cover plates are really smooth. It's got a really nice feel. It reminds me of like the iPhone when it doesn't have a case on. Oh, I love it. All right, let's dip back into the Animal Crossing cards. I got two more packs before we wrap up today. Hopefully we get some new rares um, or new holographics. I would like to get an Isabel just because everybody loves Isabel. Even if Isabel's not my favorite, I don't really like using her in Mario Kart. Although I kind of do just to spite people because sometimes they're like, yeah, Isabel. I'm like, yes. Aw, Pensetti. She's a cute little piglet creature. Little pig girl. Uh, ooh, Eugene. 
He's a sweet styler swag city koala. I like him a lot. Samson is an adorable mouse. All new cards, if you guys are noticing. That's great. And then Shari, all new crazy cool monkey with an awesome print on her shirt. And then Leonardo. You're not gonna believe what I got. Leonardo, he's a freaking tiger lion creature. And then holographic Isabel, look at that. What are the odds? We called it, guys. We called it. We got freaking holographic Isabel shining bright. So freaking excited that we got Isabel. She's so adorable. Mwah. Oh, the holographic cards. I didn't know there was holographics and they're all so cool. All the cards, really. We only got three duplicates out of, what, six and six? 36 cards, three duplicates? That's less than 10%. That's not bad. That's like eight, 9% duplication rate. Man, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Even Pokemon cards sometimes have a worse uh, duplicate rate. So there's a big set. Series 1 of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards are huge, and I'm excited to see what they actually do once we scan them all in, especially Isabel, especially Rossetti, and then my favorite non-holographic, I think, I really like Samson, that cute mouse, um, but I, oh, I also like Lopez, the uh, antelope girl, guy, creature, uh, Phil is probably my favorite, let's see, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Phil, just because Phil is a freaking peacock, and he looks so dang awesome. Look at that guy, colorful, kind of sassy, he's very cool, looking awesome with different patterns all over his body. He's just rocking and rolling. That's like if I was an animal, I'd be all stylish like Phil. Me and Phil, we would get along super well on the Animal Crossing Island. Look at those guys, aren't they cool? All like the glitter. This definitely brings me back to my Pokemon collecting days when he first got Charizard. So we got Pascal, Rosetti, Cap'n. Isabel looking awesome and they've got a nice like sheen and shine them so you're not like fingerprinting them up or anything really awesome quality on the cards I didn't know they'd be so good let me know in the comments below if you like the cards and want to see more I'll probably tag them on to another unboxing video if you'd like but they're super cool I can't wait to see what they do in games I'm gonna try to bring you guys some gameplay and let me know what you think of the awesome Pikachu new 3DS cover plate and the new 3DS that's in America that allows the cover plates in the comments below as well I know it's just like cosmetic and doesn't change what the system does but it makes me happy and sometimes you got to do things that brighten your day and like games are already super fun so if I can make it even better experience than playing here with all the Pikachus coming straight from the sun with their glorious yellow bodies and all that fun. I think it's a good time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great time with this video. Animal Crossing cards, new 3DS, cover plates. It was a blast. Until next time, guys and girls, make sure to check out my other videos that have gone up this week and this weekend. Until next time, thanks so much all. Thanks again for being awesome. I love you all. Smile. Do something fun for yourself today. And until next time, we'll see you all later.